Hi guys, welcome to Cotor, Montenegro. I am back in town once again. So after I last talked to you guys, I was on the island a little bit farther south, came back up this way and um, had some dinner at my host place with some other people who are also visiting there. And then yesterday we went out exploring Lutvica, I think is the name again, which is basically kind of on the other side of the bay behind me. And so he took us all around in his Land Rover. I actually ended up sleeping inside the house because there was a spare bed, but it was cool. He took us exploring all these places, like these old abandoned buildings that were part of the Austro-Hungarian Empire and stuff like that. And totally, definitely like off the grid, off the usual path. There was no one else there, which is cool, away from all the tourists and stuff. Um, so yeah, we went to some of these buildings and explored a bit. Um, we went to this one spot where you could go swimming. There was like this platform you could jump in over there. And then we also went to this submarine tunnel. So you could climb down this ladder, like into the tunnel or also like walk around where the submarines would go in. So it was cool seeing all these old abandoned deserted buildings that were um, from the wars and that were for the military and stuff like that. Uh, it kind of reminded me of the tunnel we were shown actually when we were, or when I was in Vis, uh, in Croatia. So it was cool exploring a bit more um, off the usual track and afterwards we went to grab a nice dinner in town. Had a local meal, which was good. It was kind of like a stew with meat and tomatoes, peppers, um, and some more rakia, of course. And then today I've been exploring Kotor a bit. I had mentioned I was thinking about coming back because I hadn't really seen anything yet. So walked around the city a bit today earlier. It is a really cute city, definitely again, like I had mentioned before, does remind me a lot of the places I saw in Croatia along the coast. Um, similar, I was actually told before that Kotor used to be part of Croatia. So obviously you can tell probably why it's pretty similar. So definitely a lot of people in town. There's some cruise ships that come in here, so it gets pretty packed but a cute city, lots of cats. There's actually a cat museum in town, so that's how many cats are around the area, but it was good to learn that they feed them and like take care of them and try to help the situation in some way. And right now, um, doing a short hike kind of up to the top of the fort where you can get a really pretty view of the city. Sun sets in about an hour, but the sun's already kind of hiding on the other side of the so it's kind of hard to see that now, but let me show you guys some of the view before I take off. There's those two cruise ships now I was talking about. So you can pretty much see, actually, the part you're looking at now is outside of the city walls. So on this side, you can see the walls of the fort, sunset back there. Um, so the town's really cute, but the really awesome, beautiful part about Kotor is that it's surrounded by these beautiful mountains around the bay. So that makes it really pretty. I would say that's like the main difference from the places I saw in Croatia where you're like right in the mountains. And then here there's this little cafe that's closed, but cool little spot. And shortly after we're gonna go walk through, apparently there's a hole in the wall somewhere there where you can get in and walk down the stairs like inside the walls. Usually you have to pay to go inside um, the old city, get up that way. But anyways, I wanted to do a hike and found out this way you can actually like go outside the walls. It's more of a trail which cut back, cuts back a bunch and then you can actually like cross into the wall. So it's kind of cool gonna check that out and then later doing a dinner cruise which is part of the hostel I'm back at same as the first night I stayed so that should be fun more like meeting people and doing that whole deal I was kind of looking forward to it for the view of being like on the bay but it's probably gonna be dark so I don't know how much I'll see but I'm sure it'll be a good experience nonetheless so tomorrow I'll be headed to Budva again like for sure this time to stay and I'll fill you in Maybe then, tomorrow, from Budva. We'll see what happens. Talk to you soon. Bye.